Hey everyone, so this is Unit 4, it's hard to see it, uh, Module 2, Session 3, Homework. Um, as always, just use this as long as you need to understand, and then, um, then go ahead and pause it, work on it, and then you can use the video to kind of check your answers. All right, so um, Dante wants to spend uh, some of his allowance money. But he's having a hard time deciding what to buy. He loves baseball cards, packs of gum, and bouncy balls. Fill in the ratio tables and answer the questions to help Dante keep track of what he can buy. So this one, they want to fill out the whole ratio table. Even though uh, uh, later on we won't have to use the whole ratio table, but this one we're going to fill out the whole thing. So we're going to do a couple that um, I think are easier to explain. Maybe not easier for everybody, but um, we're working on some efficiency, so we'll see what we can do. All right. So, Dante's favorite baseball cards are 170 each. That's also right there. So I can double that. So if there's two of them, um, $1 plus $1 is $2. 7 plus 7 is 14 It's $3.40. Now I double it again to get $4. So um, I'm going to go $6.80. All right, double it again, but look at the 80 cents. So 80 cents is going to push us over. So let's just double the 80 cents. 80 cents plus 80 cents. 80 cents plus 80 cents is $1.60. 6 plus 6 is 12. I think it's thirteen sixty. Feel free to write all over this paper too. I'm going to skip 9, and I'm going to go to 10. I'm going to go back here for from to work from 10. And remember, I'm just moving that decimal one time. To the right, so that's gonna be seventeen dollars. Um, and then I was working on this a little earlier. I need a five. There's no five on here. Well, let's work on um, nine first. So nine, we're gonna subtract one seventy from seventeen. So I'm gonna subtract one. That's sixteen. Then we're subtract seventy cents. Um, I believe that's fifteen dollars and thirty cents. And I don't know if you guys remember my secret. Remember I put the dollar sign here so I don't have to put um, a dollar sign for each number. So um, I have 10. I'm gonna try and find five so I can figure out what 15 is. So half of 17 is, well I know half of 16, so half of 16 is eight. So half of 17 is 850. So I know 10 is 17. 5 is 8.50. So, 17 plus, eight, oops, I should probably line it all up. 17 plus 8.50. There's a 50 cents there. This is 15. 25.50. Now, I know 10 and 15 right here. So that is 25, so I'm gonna add those two together. So I said, uh, I was working on this earlier and I know my answer is gonna be 50 cents, right? So 17 plus 25, well 25 plus 10 is 35. If I break up the seven into a five and two, that's a 40 when I add the five and then 42, 42.50. All right, um, gum, 60 cents. Um, I'm going to jump all the way to 10 right off the bat. So 10, 10 of them times 60 cents. Oops, I'm going to move that up a little bit. 10 times 60 cents. Well, that's $6. Remember my secret right here? Dollar sign. Um, I'm going to go back to, well, let's go to 9. What do you think? Uh, 9 is, I'm going to take 60 cents away from that. So $5.40. From ten, I'm gonna I'm gonna break that in half to go to to five. So I'm gonna to get to there, I divide by two. So I'm gonna do the same thing here, right? Six divided by two is three. Um, to get two, I'm going to double sixty cents. That's one twenty. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna add those two. Nine and ten, right? So that's eleven forty. 
And then 20, I'm just going to double the 10, right? So it's going to be 12. And then 25. Uh, 20 plus 5. I think it's uh, $15. All right, bouncy balls. $3.15 each for a package. So let's double it. Six thirty. Um, let's find 10. What do you think? Um, 10 is $31.50. See what happened? The, I moved the decimal that way. Um, 20. Let's go ahead and double it for 20. 20. 31 doubled is 62, but 50 cents doubled is a dollar. Sixty-three dollars. The dollar sign on there. All right, let's do this. So, um, let's go twelve. Twelve. I know ten, and I know two. So I just add those two together, right? Fifty cents plus thirty cents is eighty cents, and then thirty-one plus six is thirty-seven. Thirty-seven eighty. Um, nine. I'm gonna take. Ooh, I'm gonna find three. Let's find three. What do you think? Three is, well, let's just add 315 again. So it's $9.45. So six, double that, right? Nine times nine is 18. And then 45 doubled is 90, 18.90. I'm gonna add 315 to that. So let's do, 90 cents plus 15 cents is a dollar five. Um, 18 plus three is 21, but I had a dollar there. So I think that, uh, wait, that's not making sense. 18 plus nine is 27. And a dollar there, I add one, should be 28.35. There we go. All right, that one took me a little while. Let's see what my time is. Ooh, I'm halfway through. We'll see how we do. All right, decided to, Dante decided to spend only $20 of his allowance and save the rest for later. Nice idea. Can you buy 12 packs of baseball cards? Why or why not? Baseball cards. I know 10, and I know 2. Um, so 10 is 17. 17 plus 2, uh, not 2, 340. Oops, too far. Plus 340. Well, 17 plus 3 is 20, and I have that 40 cents, so my answer is no. He's short 40 cents, right? 40 cents. Um, can you buy 30 packs of gum? Gum. Let's go. Well, look at We got a 10, and we got a 20. That'd be 30, right? So 6 plus 12, 6 plus 12. Dollars is eighteen dollars. Yes, and he has two dollars extra, right? All right. How much of the twenty dollar bill, or how much of the twenty dollars, will he still have after he buys five packs of bouncy balls? All right, bouncy balls, five packs. Ooh, oh, let's just add. Can we add these two? Two plus three, so six plus nine is. Um, 15, 15.75 for five packs. So I'm gonna take that from 20, right? So 20 minus 15.75. I am not going to borrow. Well, I am, I'm gonna borrow from the 20 and make it a 19. And that's a dollar right here. And so a dollar minus 75 cents is 25 cents. And 19 minus 5 is 4. 425. Too close to the bottom. 425. Okay, let's keep going. Um, nine minutes. Okay, we got a little bit of time. Write the following decimals in uh, base 10 numbers. So you're just going to squish them together. So I'm going to write the 3 for 3,000. There's no hundreds, so I'm going to put a 0. There's a 10 for 60. No ones. There's a tenth, no hundredths, and a thousandth, and a thousand, thousandth. So that'd be three thousand sixty and four hundred two thousandths. So one hundred seventeen 
five, seventeen, and three thousandths. Bam. Write the number names, words for the following decimals. So remember, I'm letting you just write the, the numbers out. Three hundred and um, ten and four. I'm going to say fourteen uh, thousandths. I combined them. Three hundred and fourteen. Oh, not fourteen. Sorry. Gosh, there's, there needs to be a break there. One hundred four thousandths. Sorry. One hundred four thousandths. All right. The next one. Thirteen and twenty nine <clears throat> thousandths. There's no, oops, there is no number in the tenths. <clears throat> Guess that threw me off last time. All right, expanded form. So you got to put it way out like that. So 4,053 and 269 thousandths. Okay, ready? Here's my 4,000. Um, I have a 50. 5 times 10. I have a 3. 3 times 1. Um, and then I have a I have 269. So that the number is 4053 and 269 thousandths, right? So I have a 2 in the tenths and I have a six in the hundredths and I have a nine in the thousands can I fit it in there boom just barely fit it in there sorry that right there is 0 0.001 all right so let's break the next one up this next one's gonna be longer I'm gonna start way over here nine in the thousands or thousands I have a six in the hundreds. I have a one in the t one times ten. And I have a five times one. And I have a two times one tenth. And a five times, oops, five. Oops, sorry, I, wrong number. Two in the tenth. And I have four in the hundredths and I have a three in the thousands bam that was big all right let's keep going kind of fast now so now I'm gonna compare these um, these both have 45 but look at this number right here that's a zero that's a one bigger so it's, it's actually called less than um, Five and five. Oh, that five's bigger. Bigger. All right. Nineteen and nineteen. Zero and zero. Oh, three. Bigger. They're all bigger. They're all well. They're all less than. Right. Well, let's set. There you go. They gave us that one. Okay. Let's try and do this in in one minute. I might just be able to set this up and leave you guys with it. Okay. So Abby is going to make tie-dyed t-shirts for a class to wear on a field trip. Each shirt costs three ninety five, and the dye for each shirt costs fifty cents. Abby also needs to buy two boxes of salt to add to the mix of for four fifty each. If she had collected uh, has collected one hundred twenty four seventy, how many tie-dyed shirts can Abby make? Show your work. All right, let's look at this for a little bit. Um, she needs to, so let me see here, every shirt is three ninety five and 50 cents for the dye for every shirt. She's going to pay twice for two boxes of salt. That's a one time fee. She's got one twenty four seventy. Okay. So here's what my, um, here's what it looks like. 124 minus um, 9 for the salt 
and we're going to divide that 